Hi, everyone. I'm Liza Donnelly, cartoonist for The New Yorker and other publications. I wanted to tell you a bit about why I'm so passionate about cartoons while I draw you a cartoon. As a high school student in Washington, D.C. during Watergate, I looked up to journalists. However, it was really the cartoonists that I was paying close attention to. I was already drawing cartoons. At that time, the Washington Post's Herb Block helped bring Nixon's resignation with his powerful daily cartoons. His depiction of Tricky Dick cut to the essence of what was happening. In the strip Doonesbury, Gary Trudeau regularly skewered politicians and our involvement in the Vietnam War. He made it more personal, drawing attention to our racism and, and xenophobia. There have been other notable cartoonists who furthered change in our country. Thomas Nast brought down New York City's boss Tweed by visually alerting us to the corruption of Tammany Hall. Lesser known cartoonists such as Lou Rogers, Rose O'Neill, drew cartoons to further women's suffrage and exposed wrongful stereotypes. Contemporary cartoonists Ann Telness, Jim Morin, Jeff Danzinger, Jen Sorensen, Keith Knight, and many others continually hold our politicians accountable with their pens. The New Yorker Magazine, mostly known for its cartoons about culture, has a history of political cartoons. When you see yourself in a cartoon, it may elicit laughter, but it also may elicit reflection. And change often comes from that cultural behavior and from within ourselves. And the New Yorker cartoon is masterful at being a mirror. Editorial cartoonists are essential journalists. We see this clearly around the world. Some cartoonists find they can only speak through images. Sadly, cartoonists get under the skin of those they attack, and, they are th and then they are threatened, injured, or murdered. Imagery can be swift and succinct at transmitting ideas across borders with hopeful and powerful ideas, often without words. My international colleagues are tenacious, passionate, and incredibly talented at showing us what we really feel. What editorial cartoonists do is crucial. People around the world often do not take the time to read or cannot read an article, but none of us can look away from a cartoon. Through this form of journalism, we can learn about what, what is happening and we can better understand what's going on on the ground, often from those cartoonists that are living that reality. And we can learn what they really think of us. We must preserve freedom of expression for cartoonists. What we do as journalists is to show our common humanity. We expose wrongs, offer hope, and show us who we are, often while we are laughing. <laughs>